Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boy Fist in the his house. Bringing another great edition of Modern Warfare for me to you because hey, that's what I do. We're talking about the G36 today. Weapon discussion from Call of Duty 4 versus Modern Warfare 3. How is it different from, you know, this weapon is coming back. It's, you know, the reason it's coming back, it's one of Robert Bowling's favorite weapons. Um, this is the G36, you know, the, I mean, that that's the reason I think it's coming back. You know, I don't know why it's coming back, why they chose this weapon. To be honest with you, in Call of Duty 4, it was one of the, the weakest weapons. But as we all know, uh, the interpretation interpretation from uh, Modern Warfare 3 is from, is from Modern Warfare 2, based on my gameplay and how I played the game. You know, with some adjustments. So, I, I find this weapon very fascinating because, <clears throat> frankly, <clears throat> excuse me. Frankly speaking, in Call of Duty, uh, when it came down to it, it was really weak. And, um, you know, I I'm using it with the silencer because uh, it's horrible with the red dot. So, uh, maybe when we play it on Modern Warfare 3, it's going to be great. Well, I'm going to assume it's that way because when I played the SMGs or when I put any silencer on any weapon, it lost the power. It was, you know, it was always messed up in, in the Call of Duty series, whether, you know, you put the silencer on the ump or certain weapons, you're like, what the hell, What's why is it so powerful? So, you don't know. I mean, um, based on the SMGs that I played in Modern Warfare 3 and the assault rifles when I put the silencers on, they seem like they lost a lot of power. Whereas in these games, when you got stopping power added on as a perk, that really doesn't affect it, or look at that. Where the fuck did I get killed by a garbage can? Well, there's no more exploding barrels in Modern Warfare 3. That's one thing we've just learned here. Watch this little move. Oh, did you see it? So, no more exploding barrels. We, we You forget about that in Modern Warfare 3. That's one thing that, you know, if it would never happen in the video, I probably would have never said nothing about it. But I, and, and look at that. Oh, I hate that when your guy goes up on a, um, some boxes and then your aim goes all off. That's the worst ever. So, anyways, let's get back to the G36. You know, uh, I'm going to make a prediction. And everybody wanted to talk about it. I haven't seen it in a long time. Everybody's probably going to be, you know, like making videos about it because it's, you know, it just hasn't been seen since Call of Duty 4. So. I think it's going to be really strong with the red dot, and um, you know I'm curious to see if it, it has the attachment of rapid fire like it does in this. You know, double tap is in Call of Duty 4, so I'm very curious to see how well uh, the G36 is. I don't know how the iron sights are. I mean, I know the iron sights on this this suck. So we're going to see. Doing some beautiful move, doing some work with the G36. I mean, it's an assault rifle that's pretty heavy. I mean, being that it's right after the T95, you know, I mean, it's pretty high. It's a pretty high up weapon. Now, what would be the the counterpart of the G36 in Modern Warfare 2? I mean, what where would we see the comparison to this weapon? I mean, how how would you rate it today, Blake? I'm just trying to think in my head. Where would you where would you put it up to? I mean, you know, like I'm trying to think here. Because the AK-47, I think, is right after the G-36, and then the FAD is next. So I don't know. I'm trying to think in Modern Warfare 2, what weapon, you know, was in that, that slot. And uh, there wasn't really, I think, maybe the TAR. So what is it going to replace, you know, being like an ATAR or an F-2000? I don't know. I'm really uh, looking forward to using the G36 in actual multiplayer gameplay. As you can see right here, it's just an average assault rifle, but you know, the statistics on these weapons are going to change dramatically once uh, Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Now I find, I, I, you know, it took a second to get used to the iron sights because they are kind of small, and I don't mind the uh, silencer, but. Uh, you know, it's almost like the iron sights are like an ACOG or a holog hologram or holographic, whatever you want to put it, call it. <laughs> hologram. Holographic. And uh, the thing about it is, like, you know, 
you go cross-sided on the sights, you know, you, you, you ADS it and it's like, oh my god, look at the little square you gotta look into, and so you lose your peripheral vision, and it's not like a, a um, traditional iron sight where it's open-ended, you know, it's really, it's a closed end. Look at that, two for one, thank you, come again, thank you, come again, look at that move, see that move I pulled? I called, look at this guy, he, oh, look, he's moving back and forth, they ain't gonna have him with a saw rifle, but, um, I called in the airstrike, and it, you know, pinned them down, and I knew they were in there waiting for us to come out of our spawn, threw, us, threw a uh, grenade, got a double kill, and then the guy was coming over the top trying to flank us, so I took a ball, I mean, I like, like, I could chew bubble gum and, and we'll kill at the same time, what's up? So, I man, you know, it's, it's crazy, because, you know, if, I, there's a lot of, ooh, look at these moves, oh my gosh, I'm just, like, watching this, I'm like, damn, son, so, um, I'm thinking to myself, uh, well, before the game starts, you know, there's a lot of gun sway. I mean, oh man, I should have knifed that guy. He was hugging. He was nut hugging the wall. Caught me. But uh, there's a lot of gun sway in Call of Duty 4. And there is, it, it, this is this quintessential gun on gun, you're done game. Now, there is some aspects that can help you get used to playing this because, you know, you're gonna UAV online, UAV online, UAV. I'm not going to sit there and take all day to um, shoot down um, UAVs you just have to find why well, I think this guy's trying to kill me I'll get strafed and then duck from your little shit turd martyrdom I'm glad that's gone you can't get that until you like five kills on you ha ah, get off me no more martyrdom so I don't know what I was talking about but I just can say that uh, Modern Warfare 3 and uh, I'm just like talking about the game. I'm just like, like, yeah, I like the G36. I'm going off track. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Look at this guy trying to creep around the corner. Come on, son. What's going on, man? You, you ain't going to give me. <laughs> oh, I know what I was saying. Yeah. Going back to my train of thought, like, uh, yeah, if this game was gun on gun done, uh, Modern Warfare 3, if it was a, if it was a true sequel from Call of Duty 4, I don't think people would uh, be able to last that long. I think they do, I think they built a big enough following from Call of Duty 4. I felt like you know, maybe they thought that they uh, didn't build a big enough following, and I'm like, I, I, you know, I don't understand it. Maybe they thought that they had to get a lot of, um, look at these moves right here. Oh, oh, I thought I was dead and was bleeding. Man, it's just come back and he reloads so slow. Look at this. This is gun on gun action. This, this is awesome. This is why I like playing this game. Get off of me! It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Oh, it was awesome. I, I, I do. It's fun playing this game. It really is. And I wish they would truly make a sequel. I think if they made a sequel to this game, it would sell. You know, like a true Call of Duty Five classic uh, HD sequel. You know, and spin it off from there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, it's your boy Fizz. Peace.